What's up everyone? So welcome back to another Out and About KP video. And today's video we are going to talk about the Test and Go program. Can you explain to us what is Test and Go for the ones that haven't done the research? Yeah, so basically you'll come into Thailand, you'll quarantine for one night, you'll test yourself, and if you become uh, negative, you, can, you are free to roam around Thailand for the next couple of days. But on your day 5 in Thailand, you will have to take your second PCR test. So the good thing for this latest test and go program is that basically on your day 5 quarantine hotel it includes the PCR test so you don't have to worry about going to yeah, any very hospital or any private lab it's super so convenient. you'll most likely repeat what you did on day 1 on day 5 yes. so on day 5 you'll test yourself and then just quarantine in that room until you get your results back if it's negative then you're basically do you have to be vaccinated? I believe so. I believe you have to be uh, vaccinated to be able to apply for this test and go. If you're partially vaccinated, you have to quarantine for at least 7 to 10 days. If you are not vaccinated at all, you will have to quarantine for 14 days. So as of right now, you can't apply for the test and go scheme until February 1st of 2022. It's still the same as before. It's just that as of right now, you do have to book two hotels or the same hotel that, that provides two PCR tests that's included in the hotel package. Uh, back then, there was only uh, one PCR test provided. So I just wanted to talk about our experience because we went through the test and go, which was a little bit confusing when we were taking our second PCR test because we had no idea what to do. It was a little confusing because they didn't clarify that that was the list that we can only go to if we wanted a free PCR mm -hmm. test. We know that we had to take a PCR test at the hotel, but our second PCR, we were required to take it at a government hospital. Mm -hmm. uh, we decided just to uh, pick a, a private lab, which mm -hmm. was like what cost us like 2,000 baht Each. for yeah. the PCR test, which is probably the cheapest one. It, it was such a hassle. Let's yes. just say that it was a hassle and the work mm -hmm. to just find that PCR place. So as of right now, for the test and go scheme, um, your day one and day five hotel, they will provide you the PCR test. Yeah, so you don't amazing. have to yeah. worry about finding a government hospital. Yeah, but I think this way it's a lot easier and it's more convenient because it's at your hotel and you don't have to stress about it. So one more thing for the test and go, just to make it clear, mm -hmm. day one, you quarantine, you're free to roam around anywhere. It doesn't have to be in Bangkok. You can be in oh, yeah. Bangkok for one night uh -huh. and then you can fly to Chiang Mai, roam around, or you can fly to anywhere in Thailand as long as on your day five you are in your uh, quarantine hotel taking your PCR and quarantine in that hotel. Yeah. So that's the new thing. Just be careful when you are here in Thailand. Wear your mask at all times. You don't want to and like you know be negative the first day you go out and have fun and then on day five you might end up testing positive mm -hmm. and then it's probably gonna ruin your whole trip so just be safe wear your mask yeah. and we were you know, pretty take, take, uh, take cautious you know it wasn't really like okay let's go to Ayutthaya like, like let's go to the bar let's oh, yeah. go it was eat out like in that. the restaurant we were very very yeah. careful so we basically yeah. quarantined ourselves even though it's not required for us but we wanted to make sure that you know we come out negative so that way we don't have to stress about you know all these COVID situation being yeah. positive and because I've heard some stories about like, like health insurance mm -hmm. not covering the medical bill so yeah. some people have to uh, pay it off from their own pockets so there's Which a lot of crazy yeah, examples yeah. on YouTube right now but as far as right now of, like, of today's video everything's still going smooth mm -hmm. there's really no problems with Thailand right now yeah. go to any tourist attraction there's not a lot of people you'll have a great time uh, it is a hassle with all these paperwork and uh, documents but if you are able to get through it it, it's worth it. It's so yeah. worth it. We'll go ahead and put all the links down in the description below of where you can apply for the health insurance, the Thai pass, uh, visa if you plan if you on staying mm -hmm. uh, in Thailand longer, uh, what else, like uh, any of the uh, hotel, local quarantine hotel. So quick tip, I know I mentioned that on my other video before, uh, make sure when you book your uh, quarantine hotel uh, to check the packages of if they provide airport transfer and the PCR test. So those are the main things that you need. So anything else that's provided, that's entirely up to you. So I hope this video is helpful for those who are planning to come to Thailand. Mm -hmm. If you are confused or you have some sort of uh, other questions, feel free to just leave a comment and we'll go ahead and get back to you. We are trying our best to make this video to just to inform those who are interested in coming to Thailand. So if you have any questions, let us know down in the comments below. And until then, we'll see you in the next video. All right, you guys have a good one.